I've also changed the resolution to 640. No, yeah, 640 by 480. I don't know you how can, to... You can handle it. Well, the bitrate's still the same, so I don't know if it will just affect the quality. It's still the same, so I don't know if it will just affect the quality. I suppose Oops, I can hear myself. Better mute my thingy. I suppose Oops, I can hear myself. Uh, it's about, what, three, four seconds delay? Also, yeah, hearing forever. <laughs> uh, let's see... I don't know how loud I'm coming through on the stream. Yeah, I don't know how... Well, I guess I'll know once I turn on the Dreamcast. Oh, hang on. Um, coming through my speakers instead of the... Recording the mixer. Are you doing everything wrong? Um, kind of. I have to manually select, because I'm wearing headphones at the moment and it's coming through right. speakers, so... I click apply, that should fix it, otherwise I might have to just quickly restart the stream. What's with the dolly? <laughs> it's the scare cam! No, I don't know. <laughs> Can you hear it now? What, the stream audio? Yeah, the... the... Yes. Okay, how does it sound, like, with your audio? <laughs> Um, I'll have to say this and find out. Seems alright, maybe I just need to speak up. I'll, I'll turn the game down a little bit, and then turn mumble, or rather everything else up. So I'll turn the game to... Works for me. Oh, we have viewers already. Viewers? What? Who's watching this dumb thing? I like how no matter how low I put down the stream audio, I can still hear you. Like twice, so I'm just going to mute the entire thing, I think. I think you should probably just I'll mute just... it, unless it's like a cutscene you want to talk about, but yeah. Yeah, I'll just like imagine the game, because I've played it like six times through, I can just I can just remember it. I played it like a few weeks ago. Because <laughs> you really like this game for some reason. I do. Okay, now I guess you can test the audio, I don't know. I mean, how am I coming through? You sound fine, I think. Bats. You should pay attention to this. Look how the bats are like not actually doing anything. Oh, so this is like teaching you? Yes. The game? Don't you remember when games had like demo sequences that te like teach uh, taught? The most recent thing I can tricks. remember from that is like the little the credits of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, and they show you like how to do the yes. extreme stuff. It's great. Now, um, loads of old games did that. I remember Bomberman '64. The credits, like similarly, they uh, showed really, really complex bomb stacking and jumping sequences <laughs> to get to like different platforms to pick up the gold cards. Right. You need all the gold cards to get the secret ending. Like, huh. Games should do that these days. Well, so that, now they don't need to because games nowadays have a whole bunch of tutorial things and they're all automated yeah. and stuff. I say games these days because you know now the PS4 and Xbox One is out and here I am playing a fucking Dreamcast game. <laughs> Video games. Anyone in the chat? How, how is our audio coming across? Just want to make sure everything's fine before I hit the start button and like. You probably should move the dial like a little bit. I should probably just get rid of it generally, <laughs> uh, unless you guys want it there. I'm not too concerned. It's just when it says press start, but and I can't, you know, see the rest of the way. Okay, there it is. I can also add um. Was it? Hang on. Watch this. Whiteboard display. Mm -hmm. And then I F1. Oh boy. And then I. I am so I can draw on the stream. I don't know what what I'd use this for, but. Maybe if you were looking at a map and you were like, hey, we're gonna go this way, and you'd like actually draw that way. <laughs> okay. So. Apparently but audio is good, so I'm going to start a a new game. Unless you think you should wait for maybe a few more viewers, if anyone cares. I don't know, make a YouTube announcement or something. Can you even do I've that already, still? Uh, I should probably make an updated one, because I said, hey, I'll be streaming in a few minutes. So I'll make one more announcement, and I suppose I could make one on Tumblr as well. 
Doesn't actually show. Okay, that's because I got to upload it only. That's probably why. Okay, yeah, there it is. I don't know how many like viewers you got when you were streaming Gundam. I think I left to because I had to play. Why didn't I? <laughs> I had scheduled panel to pawn with uh, me on. <laughs> All right. So I went to do that. I guess. Stream yeah, I don't think know, thousands think... of viewers. This exactly <laughs> the thing you pick up over. No. Well, I'm not expecting like hundreds or thousands or anything. I just, you know. We got a fair not... amount. We did Resident Evil Five. That's probably because I made a Steam like announcement in Team Weeaboo. Yeah. And I don't even go there anymore, so I can't really do that. I, I, don't, I don't really care, really. It's just like, no, yeah. it's, it's, it, I just thought I might as well stream it, because then you can yell at me, and also there would be a chat to just say things and help keep yep. the conversation flowing. That's the, that's the good thing about streaming, is that you've got live chat, theoretically. See, all I had to do was mention it, and then there they go. <laughs> I guess I'm our resident. <laughs> I didn't even mean to make that resident um, Code Veronica expert. Yes, I should also warn that at any point my Dreamcast might reset itself. So <laughs> yeah, that, that's 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 one issue. But I mean, I managed to stream two and a half hours of Gundam with no issue, so I don't think this game should be originally. Fun. I thought. It was like a specific moment because I was at your place and I was playing this game. Was yeah, like, oh, well, yeah, it hasn't game. it hasn't done it since then, so I don't know if it's just a rarer occurrence. Because I because I did go in, so like, yes, I'm streaming. Um, I I did go in, like open the Dreamcast up and like twiddle some stuff. I, I don't know what difference that would have made, but I don't know, maybe it's just me, like you say. Anyway, maybe it's well, like just the um. Also, I seem to have lost connection to the chat here. Also, yeah, c cat hair was a, th a thing. Have you told that story yet? I might as well tell it now, yes. Uh, when I first got my Dreamcast, it kept resetting randomly. Um, and <laughs> when I, I decided to open it up to see what the deal was. So when I opened it up, I, I, I it was just full of, like, cat hair and dust. And I guess the previous owner must have had, like, cats and dogs or something. So I blew into it. And then all the dust and cat hair went into my face, and I was blinded. And it was <laughs> just, just listen, and don't blow into it. I just just get like a can of compressed air or something. Yeah, I should probably invest in one of those for my computer. I'd, I'd, yeah, more mine's run out, and just buy another one. They're really ex they're annoyingly expensive. Yeah, for a can of air, it's like you, no matter how like what kind of logic is behind it, you shouldn't have to pay money. No, air, compressed or otherwise. I should just get like a bicycle pump, really. Do you think that would work? Um, probably not. Also, I seem to have lost connection to the chat, so I can't actually tell if anyone's saying anything. Can you see the chat? I can see the chat. Someone's talking about cat sleeping. My cat likes to sleep on my PS3. <laughs> I have to try and get her to get off, because that's not cool. Um, I'm just going to re refresh my chat window just to get things. I'll just start the game while it does that. Resident I'll turn the audio up while we've got the cutscenes because they're, you know, 10 mm -hmm. hours of Monster Hunter. Yeah, we, we would, like, if you had a Wii U, but you don't. Yeah, I could. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get it now because New the Super American Mario Brothers 3D Western World something is out has been completely and it actually looks pretty fun. It is fun. It's just, it looks better than Sonic Monster Lost World. <laughs> <laughs> it has that Monster Hunter, well, like, well, yeah, the Monster Hunter has that problem where, like, once you... Yeah, one <laughs> wonderful 101 also looks good. It does. Oh, there's like sometimes you get a prelude of things to come. I wasn't paying attention. No, I do not have a I Wii U. I, I, I'm thinking of getting one. Just I don't know because. Now all the new consoles are out, and here I am playing a Dreamcast. I think it's time for me to move on.
Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab. I don't understand why they had to knock her out she after taking her there. The complex looking for her lost um, brother, Chris Redfield. I guess guards are just jerks. One of the surviving RPD's I famous for stars teams. I just like how it's action this is. <laughs> not, not indicative not, of the actual not game. Quite sure why she's in a building. Not quite sure why she's running for guards and this more it's a helicopter. No, this is not a reality to one. This is a standard, uh, sort of like stationary camera angle. It's all 3D rendered. Yeah. It was original. I think it, the plan was it was originally going to be Resident Evil 3 before they made Resident Evil 3. Despite the fact that Resident Evil 3 was on the PS1, and this was on the Dreamcast slash PS2. I'm not quite sure how the time was that, but. Yeah, it's... Was there a movie where that happened? Probably. Don't move. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. It seems like, why does she need to, like, do the whole trick and dive when she could just, like, quickly shoot? I think... I think the logic is that she drops it to, like, make them all drop their guard just that little bit so she can drop down at super speed, pick it up again and shoot them without, you know, getting shot back. Yeah. Generally it was all a bit of a bad plan. How's the quality of the video on the stream going? Looks fine. It's good to hear. Uploading at a steady 600 KBPS. There's a lot of shaking. Basically, she's been in this cell for an indeterminable amount of time. I'm not sure that was a word. Um, and the lights went out. Lots of shaking. Basically, the place was getting wrecked by bomber planes. It can't have been that long since th that incident because no. she gets arrested, taken here, then knocked out, and like she hasn't like this is the first time she's woken up, so like, yeah, I guess it hasn't been like that long. Been long. Oh, so <laughs> so those are like some pre-rendered lips. There's one even actual Dreamcast graphics. You no, know, um, it says like, hey, I equip the light. I can see outside, but you can see outside perfectly. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to see outside anyway. So, well, time Next to equip the lighter. Fuck. Is that supposed to be just like a surprised reaction or like a scared reaction? Like, like why Maybe. was she reacting that way to like, oh, <laughs> a Mexican? I, I, I like that, yeah, that, that's good logic. The stream chat will help us fill in the, the plot holes of this game. Yeah, that's what I was missing from, from my Gundam stream. Go on, get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been Where's a to be silly. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. I'll just sit on this chair for a long, long ass time. Well, what else are you gonna do? 
I suppose. So I got some bullets. Oh. Hemostatic medicine, which yep. is empty. It's, it's pretty standard tank controllers. You've yeah. got your turning, you've got your moving, no strafing, because well, who needs that? Um, I don't know, does it need fluid, the lighter? I don't nope, think it, it does. it works forever. You don't have it forever, but maybe. Alright. You look at shit. I'll give you the first piece of backseat gaming advice. Okay. Back in your cell, there should be a herb. You might as well grab it. So the last time I played, I came back a while later and thought, where the fuck did I come from? <laughs> How about that? Camera angle. I guess that's just a sneaky little secret. And can't forget the knife! Yeah, man, the game's bugged. It just gives you the best weapon in the game straight away. <laughs> I didn't think this through at all. I don't know how many people in the chat are familiar with this game, and Resident Evil in general. I'm assuming most of you played at least one game. Generally, knife always shit. In this game, absolute slaughterhouse. It's it's quite surprising and amazing, really. I don't know how they managed to do it. Or... I'm sure you can show it off. Oh, I'll have a chance soon. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. Maybe the herb in the cell was just a decoration. Just like a pot plant. I don't know everything about every game. For example, I haven't played Zero. I just watched him play it. You, you didn't miss much. Any of the <laughs> I haven't played the shooters. And I watched him play it. <laughs> Again, they're well, just I, reiterations I of the old games. So. A little bit, probably, at some point. I just... I, I played one a couple of times. I played the remake couple times. Played two a couple of times. Played Code Veronica about six times. Uh, oh yeah, and five you played five and six play together. A lot. Right, yeah, fine, I've played a lot of them. Yeah, he's played most of them, let's just put it that way. <laughs> oh my god. Not zombies! It's not like... She's survived the zombie apocalypse before. It's not like she helped destroy loads of enormous monsters. This game. Perfectly fine. This one's on fire. I've been on fire before. Also, they're still using like the sound effects from like Resident Evil 2 and stuff, aren't they? So what I like is how in the um, HC remake. They improve, they like obviously upscale it and uh, improve general aliasing, the the lighting significantly improved. And when it switches to this cutscene, it's like, oh, that's what it used to look like. Right, because that's the thing I've noticed about some HD remakes is that when they like make everything upscaled and then it switches to a pre rendered cutscene, they're just like, well, can't really upscale this. And it just looks terrible. There's kinds of games where uh -oh. the real gameplay looks better than the pre-rendered one. <laughs> right, what are you gonna do? Um, stab some. Uh, Let's see if you can get out of this situation. There's one. I guess it's tricky that you start oh, off you're surrounded. Learning, you're learning. Okay, no. it, it's a bit tricky at first because you get surrounded. So man, you can just like easily leave. Yeah, that, what I normally do. In Resident, I'm getting, okay, I'm getting bitten quite a bit. What I normally do in Resident Evil is just avoid everything, because that's just like the best thing. For... This game. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Sometimes it's not that brilliant a place, or like you know, good idea, but generally, yeah, just get the hell out. You can back with the gun. But I don't intend to basically like play this game for you unless I'm physically in the room using the controller, <laughs> which we could well do at some point. We probably could. Uh... Yeah. I just want to see how you handle some situations because I know there's some rooms which are just fucking you over. <laughs> not, not you specifically, well yes you specifically, but like anyone, like me playing, you don't remember exactly what to do when you go through a certain door, it's like whoops, just tight. <laughs> yep. Oh you can't actually go this way, you have to... I just keep thinking there's like a passage behind there, but it's not, it's just the gravestone. Oh, whatever. There's, there's a steel case that fell out of the car, but we can't get it because we it's can't. on fire. Oh. 
different than you read the day before, the, the best bit of voice acting. But I haven't turned the audio just, back on the beer. I don't know about you, but I'd just keep shooting if I heard that. Uh, Probably would have saved a lot of bother. But I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up! Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. Sorry if my laugh is slightly delayed. I am watching this on the stream with the rest of you. That's fine. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, there's an airport. This is a pretty awkward conversation. Once I find it, I can Steve's find a pretty awkward this person. crazy island. Yeah. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! He does a Sonic the Hedgehog I thing don't there. Me, <laughs> All he needs now is the foot tapping. He'll only slow me down. It's funny because back in these days, yeah. you always thought, why don't they just stick together? Why do they always have to split up? The game always gives some kind of logic, and then Resident Evil 5 and 6 come out, and everyone complains. <laughs> well, no, the funny thing is, um,. Uh, there's an indentation here we can't go through here, but yeah, um, I played the Dark Side Chronicles and there's one bit in the game where Leon and Claire say, we should split up, and then Claire says, no, it's better if we stick together, and then they do. <laughs> it's just actively yeah. mocking like, the past yeah. Resident Evil games. Right, so we've got, we've established there's a big gate with, it needs a hawk carving thing, it needs, mm -hmm. needs a key basically. That's our main goal, I suppose. Just to get to that gate and somehow open it. Mm -hmm. Yep, zombies! Oh wait, I've got the gun equipped! I don't want that. No. I don't know. Knife's good, but it's not that good. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't like solely rely on the knife. It's just I don't know. In games like this, you always want to try to like conserve ammo, and then when you find out something yeah. like the knife, you just end up just. I don't know. I guess if they're far away, I might as well. I mean, this game is pretty generous. You have a lot of health. It gives you a lot of ammo. You end up using a lot of ammo, but if you're playing sensibly, you, can, you never want for more. Yeah. Squeak. God damn, I love the knife. <laughs> I also feel like this game... I don't know, the controls in this game feel like they're a bit faster than like Resident Evil 1 and 0, like the remakes. I haven't recently compared. I think you turn relatively fast in this game. Yeah. You've also got the um, quick turn, which early games didn't have. Alright. It looks dumb as hell, but yeah. So you have to be a bit poetic ammo. about the poo smell. <laughs> Thonk. Oh, I thought I could interact with him, but Claire just looks at dead bodies. Yeah, the head tracking thing is kind of because normally it's with like sometimes it's it's normally things you can interact with, but um yeah sometimes it's dead bodies it's like yeah already dead it's, it's usually like enemies and that I guess spoilers is going to become an enemy in a bit so yeah so uh, diary of a prisoner um, he has a friend named Bob and some wacky things are going on in here.
general level of intelligence of inmates. Mm -hmm. Hmm. They took the guy to the building behind the guillotine stand. Hmm. Hmm. All I could really hear was some insanely creepy bags? laughter and the sound of Let's Bob see. screaming. Bob screaming creepy laughter? What happened? I don't know. But I'll just take the diary, I guess. I keep thinking there are things on this bed, on or on these beds, because like in um, Dark Side Chronicles, it's just full of coins. You just shoot the pillows, and then coins come out, and you collect the coins and use them to buy money. I mean, buy buy weapons with the money. Suddenly, zombies! Oh my God! Who would have thought? Gonna use your new toys. Oh, wait, you pick them up. You have to pick them up first. Yeah. That's the way. Oops, I'm being eaten. I want to go pick up your new toys. Ah, uh, probably. Oops, not in the right position. I'm <laughs> being eaten quite a lot. Actually, now they're on the floor. I was gonna use them, but. Gathered on the floor. Okay, no, this is like not working quite as well as I thought it would. Yeah, the only trouble is it bounces off the walls. Yeah. So the knife is good, but it's not entirely reliable, though I'm still on yellow caution. Yeah. I don't I mean, even know why I checked the um menu anyway, the, because yeah, my health my health is on the Dreamcast display. So oh can, yeah, it's yeah. I only ever played it on PS2, where you actually have to like check the mm -hmm. menu, yeah. you know, every few seconds. So yeah, this is the the original version of Code Veronica, which is inferior in several respects. But I didn't want to pay the exorbitant amount of money people on eBay were yeah, charging for the GameCube version. Better in one way that we won't, you know, we won't divulge just yet. Right. Yeah. But gen generally, they added some more things. They changed Steve's haircut for some reason. Maybe we'll get confusing him with Leon. Yeah, that when they first made this game, it was originally supposed to be um, Claire and Leon, but then they changed it. To be honest, unless you want to pick up the handgun bullets like on the uh, shelf, you, you can just leave. There's literally nothing else here. Oh, but I gotta collect everything. My OCD. I've gotta get that 100% completion rate. Is that even a thing? Resident Metroid. <laughs> If you do pick up everything, it's going to be like your remake playthrough where you have to keep going back to the item box. Oh god, yeah. I was... Yeah, that's... I don't know why they got rid of... Like, in, in Resident Evil Zero, they got rid of the item box. But then... Oh god, my inventory's full. Um, but, like, they got rid of the item box, so you had to drop things on the floor, and then you just end up with, like, items littering the rooms, and it was the most confusing thing. I can't actually remember where the first item box is. Um, what, in this I'm game? I'm just trying to sort of like picture the initial map, because you haven't unlocked most of it yet. Yeah. I mean, I could bring up the map and see what I've... Actually, yeah, I picked up the map, so... Oh yeah, you did. Alright, let, let's take a look. With my delay o vision. I just noticed there's a silhouette of Claire in the, in the top corner with the compasses. You mean the Dalek? Oh, right, yeah, I can't <laughs> see that. Whoops, oh no, I'm drawing on it. Hang on, I gotta. Yeah, like, they're here, on the top corner, there's like a compass and it points north, but it's also got a silhouette of oh, Claire, yeah, which I yeah. never know. Just, just to make, you know, remind you who you're playing as. I think there's another herb over here. Did I pick that up? I think, no, yeah, it's here. Oh, you don't need to pick up every herb, you can always leave no. where you think there's going to be danger. Well, you can use them off the floor though, you might as well, you I can. suppose. I'm still in yellow portion, I thought it would have brung me up to green, but not quite. Growling. Who cares? Yep, who cares? What's he gonna do? Bark at you. Oh, spoilers, we haven't even established its dogs yet. Well, 
Well, now you just ruined it. <laughs> Gosh. What is this? Dogs. It's not Every dogs. Resident Evil game has to have dogs. Parasite Eve, have, have you ever played a Parasite Eve game? No, I have not. Are they any good? Neither have I. I think I, I've seen them play. They, they're very similar to Resident Evil, I'm pretty sure. Just Whoops. different in ways. That no. wasn't very useful, was it? Let's see if I can combine gun. Good. One thing to note about the um, the twin guns you picked up, they're like just pistols with lots of ammo basically, but you can't reload it ever at all. No. Yeah. So you kind of have to like uh, use it sensibly, I suppose. I know one place I'm going to use it on, but I'm I guess not too far from now. Can you aim just randomly, you automatically lock on to the nearest enemy. I think it does. If I put the gun. Not sure if the one behind the fence would work. Normally it does. I don't know if there's any. Oh! <laughs> Sneaky bastard. Hang on. Oh dear. So if I. Yeah, she automatically aim at her enemy. It didn't seem like you were before, but you looked like you were struggling slightly to aim at that guy. I thought, oh, maybe the Dreamcast person doesn't have it, which would be awful. I'm pretty sure it was in like Resident Evil 2 as time as well. At least I haven't played like the original Resident Evil One, so I don't know what like didn't make it in there. What like what features weren't in the first game? Yeah, because I know they're all. Uh, the first game is pretty old. It yeah. Please deposit it, um, when I played it last, I think I it is Chris. I got nibbled on about four times and died because I didn't realise I was dying because there's no oh god I'm dying animation. <laughs> Yeah, here basically we have to dump all our metallic objects if you were listening yep. into the security box because metal detector. But you well Does encryption that count? Oh they do. Yeah they do. <laughs> Anything metal. But ink is not metal, it's ink. I guess it's the container. Well I don't know, maybe ink contains traces of metal. Smoke it if you want, but no metal, no. Oops, I didn't mean to. Well, there's not really much I can do with this at the moment, so. Not too much yet. But it, it's an old game, but with future tech, you know, 3D scanning, recreation of models. And, you know, 3D well, printers and 3D scanners are like new and exciting, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you, you can pick up everything that's here. Yeah, well, they're, on, they're just going to go to the, the security box, aren't they? Pretty much. There's more grenades. The Deus Ex, right, Kim? De Deus Ex, yeah, why? Well, just people in chat wanting to play Deus Ex. Are, are, are they? Why is my... My chat hasn't updated since the guy who said, wow, something's wrong with my chat. Yeah, there's been, like, about 25... Lines of chat God, I haven't even been, been watching. So much for watching the chat. <laughs> I'll just refresh it. Yeah, the, the last thing I saw was the guy who said "wah." Yeah. And, and out of context, read them. Read all. them all. No, I, I, it's refreshed. It should be going now. Basically, uh, um, people want you to stream Dark Souls, Parasite Eve, Sleeping Dogs in Rio Hazaki mode. It's, it's, Oh yeah, I've I've been meaning uh, to play Sleeping Dogs because someone Kong. gifted me that and I still haven't finished it and I feel bad because he he paid like full price for it, kind of. Well, more specifically, he gave me the money for the full price version and I told him, hey, you want to wait for the Steam sales? And he said no, and here's thirty pounds. And like, wow, seriously? <laughs> so he's a really nice guy. 
so uh, I wasn't paying attention to this note. What's it saying? Um, about the the truck and the sample of like TG zero oh, one. Yeah. So I guess we know what the um what's in the carry case that on the truck that exploded. Chris Redfield. Basically, it's oh, what are I you guess doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? <laughs> Chris Redfield. You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Is that supposed to be like a prisoner collar on Steve, or is that just his weird fashion well, sense? Your brother is under surveillance Think by it's umbrella. a prisoner collar. What? Right. Got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. <laughs> hey, can I miss sarcasm? There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. Have you seen what Chris can do? He can punch fucking boulders. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Well, that's not until the oh, future. I got that before Leave I did. Me. I know. <laughs> She's saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> She's the voice of reason. So some ink ribbons, so I might as well save the game. Just in case your Dreamcast shuts down. Because <laughs> it might do that. Like when I last played, I tried to save oh, cock. <laughs> moderately. <laughs> I, have not, I don't have enough space to make more than one fail save file. I'll just say well, you'll have to on. do it perfectly. Uh, <laughs> I tried to save con relatively conservatively. I thought, yeah. you know, I'm not going to use all the ring ribbons, and I don't need to save all the time because you know I'm not awful when it dies. You don't. And my final save count was about 22, <laughs> <laughs> and I still had like 15 ink ribbons left over. Like, oh, Jesus Christ! I sent an email right, to so Leon. Yep. And Which and also Leon's Chris. Email addresses. I... Oh yeah, because I forget what this does. What does that do? What have I done? You've unlocked something outside that you didn't examine, probably. Probably. Also, now that of, I've oh, saved, I'm well going to this. quickly bear it back and get some tea and stuff, so hang on, you entertain the chat or something, I'll be here for a couple of minutes. I guess I'll have to chat what is up. I'm not very good at entertaining by myself. I guess we can all just sit here quietly. <sighs> I guess Kim just enjoys some Sonic games. Not all of them. He's, I think he still says that uh, Sonic Adventure is awful and 2 is likable but still awful. I could dance but you wouldn't be able to see it. So I can't dance. That would just be embarrassing anyway. My my opinion about Wesker is that he's hilarious. I think his plans for world domination were a bit silly. But generally he just acts like a dick because he can. Even pre-Resident Evil 5 Wesker. Generally his plans are always a bit silly but they work out just because Wesker is Wesker. Do you remember his original plan? I'm going to inject myself with the virus and then get myself killed. Perfect, you know, logic. Uh, my favorite Toho would probably be uh, Rumia or Suwako. I'm not really a good ass judge, especially not when when they're polygons. Recall Jill 
like in the remake, having I think it was that game. Having a significant model update, let's put it that way. No idea which one you're talking about, but you're welcome. I generally get a lot of Toho music. Hey, while I've got the time, I'm going to check how much music I even have. Right, let's add up that and that. Properties, size. It's counting, it's counting. Still counting. Is this all the Toho music that's in, like, FLAC file format? Isn't I didn't get FLAC files. My internet's not that good. We live in Britain. Yeah, I know. My upload speed is 448 kilobits. No, my total Toho music collection is 56.6 gigabytes. Um, through you, I think I haven't checked in a while, so I've played in a while, but it was about 800 hours, I think. That's more than I put into try. Try, yeah, try last I checked was about 600 as well. Yeah. Seems they're pretty much the same game. That's a lot of time. I think I got to about 300 before, like. Oh, I guess I stopped. I guess it, they stopped doing. They stopped having the service for try, haven't they? Yes, that was quite a while back. Yeah. Just shut them down. So if you want to play online, that's too bad. Oh, yes, and this is the manual uh, how to use the 3D duplicator. Don't just push buttons randomly. You might Scans break it. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, you just put an item you want scanned and then put some kind of material. Let's say Wii U and play 3 with your fans. I you should get the Wii U and Mario 3D World bundle, which apparently exists. I wouldn't mind, actually. So what does that lever I pulled do? Uh, there's a shutter outside where the zombie behind the cage thing was. <laughs> I think. Right. Because I remember zombies spawning here at some point, but... Someone's asking me to ask you about Hong Kong. Um... I could just answer for you. Oh, yes. Um, uh, my family's from Hong Kong, uh, but I don't know Chinese because I'm terrible and I was born and raised in this country and I basically didn't really pick up on Chinese properly. I, c I can pick up bits of it and I know kind of, but if you ask me to speak Chinese, I'll just be terrible. So I was like, oh yeah, ink ribbons. Um, Hawk Kingdom as well, because that's made so out of metal. We have this Hawk emblem, but we can't make it with us because, yes, it's metal. So, basically, we have to figure out a way getting this emblem out through the metal detector hall towards that gate. I thought these were like maps or something. We pretty much have all the required information already. Mm hmm. Let's see if chat can figure it out, because this is the point where I very first played this game. I got to this point, thought, what the fuck do I do? And I stopped playing. Because <laughs> I guess I was a scrub. And now it's your favourite Resident Evil now game for some reason. <laughs> How long do I think? Um, probably for another maybe 45 minutes or something. Resident Evil 6 was fun. Ridiculous It's times, fun, it's fun to play. <laughs> Wait, apparently? apparently like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the um, shutter in the room you're in. Oh, okay, you left. I should probably Wait. restart the stream, stream again because it's clearly delayed a bit much. Wait, was there something else back here? Pretty sure. Paper quote. Uh, hmm. I suppose it could be boring and say a Jill sandwich, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of like another memorable. Oh, the shutter, right? Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, you do. Didn't you play this earlier? Not to this bit. I was testing it out, like, just to make sure my Dreamcast didn't randomly reset. Which it still might do. Oh, fuck this shit. 
you have to be super careful with those barrels. How careful? Because <laughs> I also had plans in mind. Well, you shoot them and they explode, but you generally don't want to be in the radius. So, so the only way to know how big the radius is is to shoot it. So hey. Double guns, okay. Oh, that was, that's fine. He's still alive! Yeah, uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll warn you about the very specific area where that can go horribly wrong before you get to it. I'm not gonna let you explode. What do I think of you Americans? Um, I don't know, you seem like an alright bunch of freaks. What I like to say about Americans is that they're all cheeseburgers and... <laughs> All, all we know about America is from like terrible stereotypes. Yes, generally they're all stereotypes. And I hear things on 4chan and I hear things on the news about America, and it's like, oh, America, you're so silly. Not the way much but, better, yeah, mind you. To be honest, there's a lot wrong with our country as well. So <laughs> we I can't. Think every really country speak has that. its problems. All right, inventory management. Oh boy. Uh. I could just use a herb, really. You probably should, because you need that, and you need it now. Yeah, I do. My other idea was just to run out, use the padlock key, and then just come back, but I can't be bothered. And now I am, now I am I think, fine. I think I was just called burgers. Sometimes they don't have cheese. I wish it was Dino Crisis, because then I could find a hundred, like, hemostatic medicines and then I can give it to the, the prison guy. That's something that happens in Dino Crisis. Dogs! Oh yeah. my god! You can literally just run away. <laughs> Especially when you open up the shortcut, you can always just run away, there's no point in fighting the Even a shortcut? Oh, I shouldn't have opened it here, should I? I should have waited. Please, saving the Mexican could be a huge spoiler yes, you can save the Mexican. Who would say no? Who would say no to discarding the key? Didn't you do it once? D did I? In one of your playthroughs. I can't remember, it sounds like something you would do. It sounds like something I would do, but like, I don't know. Like, in this game, can you, like, change your mind afterwards? No. That's... Because I remember that in Resident Evil 1 as well. It's like, it asks you, oh, you don't need the night key anymore. Do you want to get rid of it? And it was like, well, yeah, what else would I do? I think generally it's like, generally you do, yeah, but maybe you want to keep it in your box for archiving purposes. Archiving, yes. Thing. This, this is all the items I got in the order I got them. For some kind of person who likes to think that. Oh, I right, I should have paid attention to those squelching noises. Who cares? Good camera angle screwing you over. Yep. All right, zombies respawned. Have, did they? Did I explain why zombies suddenly appear? Like, because all these bodies I seen were here for a while. That's one of the issues that uh, two best friends pointed out when they did this game as part of their right. horror thing in October. It's like you start the game and suddenly zombies, and it's like, why are there zombies? <laughs> and th the game doesn't do a particularly amazing job at explaining it, which is why I can't remember why there are zombies. I know. Yeah, cause I think the reason is, someone bombs the island. That yeah. much is established. You, you told it later, but I'm just telling you now. That's what the shaking was. That's why everything's gone to shit. And the bombs released the virus in some form, and everyone rapidly turned into zombies. There you go. Or even like the, the the zombies dead and buried inside coffins here for like years. The virus just seeps into the ground, and they come out. I guess. Does this cause damage? Yes, I think it does. <laughs> Cause I, I found I out the um, <laughs> the heat room later on actually does cause damage, it's just very slow. Yep. So I guess the dino, the, the animation's very Dino Crisis because Dino Crisis is very Resident Evil. Don't you mean that boss is very Monster Hunter? Oh, um, what was his name? The guy who turned into Devil Joe? Simmons. Simmons, yeah, he was like the head of something or another. I can't even remember, it's been uh, ages since I played. Yeah, he was, he was some guy. 
he just would not die. Yeah. Whoop! 3D! Stream Resident Evil 6 on PC sometime. Okay. I mean, it was on sale a while ago, wasn't it? The PC version of Resident Evil 6? Probably. I mean, Christmas is coming up, there'll be Steam sales. Yeah, I'm probably. sure we can pick it up. I mean, I'm yeah, he, three, Simmons was part of some it. family, I remember that, but I can't remember what the family did. And the, oh, I, I, the, the one scene I remember well. Actually, no, there are two scenes I remember well. The one scene is where he gets run over by a train, and the other scene is when he falls into the big spire and makes the umbrella logo with his blood. Yeah, yeah. Good. These zombies work through magic. The same magic that lets you um, exponentially increase your size, like your mass, in the space of about 10 seconds. Right, yeah, with the whole Devil Joe thing. Maybe that's the I, secret of Attack on Titan. Again, I'm Claire is looking at, like, something, and yeah. it, I don't know what it is. It's the do dead body. Right, but she looks at it from, like, miles away. Yep. Yeah. She looked at vision. I suppose. Even through Dreamcast fog. <laughs> Right, so we picked up the alloy. Right, and the note says that it's um oh, right, undetectable by metal de standard metal detectors. Yep. You should stream League of Legends. No, I should not stream ha, League of Legends. Ha. I have not. I played League of Legends have, once, and it was the most confusing a, thing. Yeah, we have a bro pack that we're not going to play any mobas because mobas are shit. Sorry. But I'm, I, feel, I feel like I should because I have a knife. If you want to use the knife, yeah, as long as you don't get hit. If you get hit, yeah. I'm going to secretly laugh at you. And by secretly, I mean openly. Oh, well, that guy's just minding his own business, so I guess I'll leave him alone. Yeah. I think one of the more drastic changes. Oops. Too far. Don't forget dogs. Um, <laughs> in oh, was Resident Evil 1 on the DS. Oh god, I remember that. I, I, yeah, yeah, it was pretty much just like the PS1 game, like complete with graphics and everything, but you could skip the door sequences, and once I figured this out, the game was ruined. <laughs> Didn't they shove in those, um, those really weird, like, first person knifing mini games as well? Yeah. No, with the touch screen. Yeah, you, you could play the game in super original mode, which was just a game, or like DS mode, which had chests with touchscreen mini games on them. Any metallic items you yeah. Have another thing. In the security box. Right, so alloy, obviously not detected by metal detector, we can bring it with us. Everything else in the box. Do I need the fire extinguisher? Oh, it's empty. So I guess I don't need it ever you, again. No, no, no. Mistake number one, you do need it. It's ah. incredibly vital. <laughs> Make sure you take it with you. Okay. Right, I forgot something, didn't I? The lighter. Do I? Lighter, yeah. <laughs> this game's kind of mean in a few ways. It's not, it's not super vital. It's, it seems a bit mean. more lenient than, like, I don't know, maybe Resident Evil, the first one. Maybe. Like, I don't know how much you could like sequence break or forget things or ruin things in the first game but in this this game you can ruin things but it's not super vital you can fix it yourself if you do stuff but there's things you can easily miss there's things you can right things up. that might screw you over later on yes for example this this extinguisher is empty but because you've still got it empty that means that tells you it's probably important later and it is <laughs> bring it with you it didn't give you a dialogue point. saying, hey, do you probably don't need this anymore, want to discard it? Yeah. So basically, if you don't have it at a later point, you don't get a relatively important item. Not vital, but kind of useful. Time to replicate this emblem. I saw that video of someone who replicated a part, like uh, an AK-47 or some other kind of similar rifle, and after four rounds it broke. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, pork chop. 
Hello. Thanks for noticing the scare cam. Thanks for noticing me. <laughs> Senpai. <laughs> Senpai noticed me today. Yeah, we had like a relatively simple 3D printer at school. <laughs> didn't make didn't this many sparks. Duplication <laughs> complete. Oh, I rung up a dialog box for that. I thought it was going to show you more in the in the um I don't know, the command prompt. So now we have the special alloy engine. Oh, was I supposed to do something? What do you mean? I don't know. I heard glass breaking and oh, oh, no, that's them coming. That just means the zombies are coming through the window. Good luck. Uh, I guess I'll have to shoot them. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh yeah. <laughs> I yeah. forgot. Just you just you just got to power through. I think I can reset their positions by going in and out of this room. Maybe. Cuz <laughs> I remember I did that in the first Resident Evil. They all burst through the window and I was like, I'll just leave the room and then come back in and then they were all in more convenient positions. It's like block puzzles. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I pushed this block the wrong way. I'll just leave and come back and they'll reset. It's like, oh, yeah. Favorite because monster. you know, uh, I think my favorite monster, the hunter, I guess. I don't know. Hunters annoy me the most. Yeah, they they, they annoy me, but I think they're just the coolest generally. Oh, hey, he did a little sprint. Yep. Whoops, that's the um, corner. I try to remember like monsters in general because there's a lot of games, there's a lot of monsters in them. Hunters very noticeable since he's in so many games. There was one game, and I discovered it doesn't seem to be this one, where if a hunter jumps at you, you can shoot him with the pistol, like any pistol. If you hit him in midair, he just instantly kills him. And I thought it was this game, and I tried it, and it didn't, it didn't work. The cockroach human. I can't remember which one that is. Oh, uh, that, isn't that the, the Reaper thing? No, Re oh, I forget what you call it. The things that can just kill you dead. Reaper sounds about right. Basically, it's that annoying enemy that kills you dead, yes. Yeah, crows always have a special place in Resident Evil. It's just being there. Giant invisible snake. That's kind of irritating. You remember that, right? What, number six? From six, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Hate all our friends and all that. Hi, doggy. It's just chilling out. And you burst through the door and like wake him up again. Jerk. More spawned in there. Told you, man, there's no point in killing them. <laughs> <laughs> She's just got a chip on her shoulder, it's alright. Take a look at the uh, map and see where the hell we are. That's not a map. <laughs> I was thinking, I was looking at this for a second, I was thinking, what am I doing here? <laughs> um, men the prison! For a bit of reason. Uh, oh yeah, it doesn't actually take much. Basically, we've got a bridge with a hole in it. Yep, uh, I just noticed there's some ammo in that car, so I might as well. A huge bat boss turned up a couple of times in 5. He, uh, he wants in the bit before the big driving section, and wants in the temple. All right, I remember he had like the caterpillar body thing, and he had like the yeah, weak underbelly that thing. Yeah, he'd blow him up the mines and then shoot him. Two herbs Chris here. Had this action pose when he shot it. I don't if know why I'm carrying him. You don't my... get the unique jewel. Gotta get all that money. And if you do escape him, then Kim messes up the input and you die. Because <laughs> I'm bad at quick time events. <laughs> 
Says the person who played both Shenmue games. Well, they. Okay, here's the thing. Like sometimes Resident Evil Five just throws like quick time events when you're not expecting them. Whereas Shenmue, they always appear and you're always sort of expecting them. So it never feels like it's unfair. We have played Borderlands Two. Unsurprisingly, we got halfway through and got bored. <laughs> we didn't actually finish it. Also, we are. Boxface, like, well, he's very busy these days. He's still alive. He still does things. He still talks to us. But yeah, he just has a right job. Now, he's in. He's in Vancouver. He's on a plane. Yeah, he's like in Canada. He's like, well, what are you doing there, bro? Just being like way more successful and profitable than we are being right now. Yeah, he has like an actual job doing important things, and we're in our houses playing video games. Like, not even relevant video games. Like, who cares about <laughs> you know Code <laughs> Veronica these days? It's not like we're on the cusp of gaming. We're not. We're not with our X bones and our PS4s, watching TV through our consoles. The most recent game I've played is Dragon's Crown, and that's already several months old. Actually, no. I guess. I guess Final Fantasy XIV is more recent than Dragon's yes, Crown. We are still playing that. So yes, Boxface betrayed our kind. Combat Beard is also still around. I got him into playing Dragon's Dogma. I showed him one animated GIF of the warrior using like a big two-handed sword attack, and he bought the game from that. I like Dragon's Crown. It's pretty fun. Although I, I beat the the first boss, like big boss, and now I'm on New Game Plus, and I've kind of stopped for now. Should I? Go? Well, yeah, you've you've gotten ahead of me because I stopped playing for a bit to play Muramasa, which I I beat Momohime's story, but now I need to do Kisuke's to get that right. like, sword swapping. Thing and like actually I should, properly. should probably actually try and kill these guys because they're uh, sort of like... some of them you probably should yeah you go Something through this, in his body. Lot. so murdering would be decent I'll do it later yeah you do it when you come back unless you like go down the stairs directly into that one next time it's weird how like you can you can go down <coughs> upstairs by pushing the button but zombies can just slowly fall so I don't know what happens if you meet them halfway or something they dog no. Oh. Whoops. Wrong button. Whoops, my monitor just shut down because I was too inactive. I had to quickly move the mouse. <laughs> I still don't get a bit. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm being chased by dogs, except that so long as you keep moving in a somewhat unpredictable way, they will never get you. Also, they can't climb those steps, can they? I don't know. I don't know. Also, yeah, Combat Beard, he is... Um... Is he still working at Marks he's and Spencer? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's, he's just doing whatever. He's, he's just... he still hangs around. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter? Yeah, I want to. I still feel appropriately bad about buying another version of Street Fighter 4, but I'm, I'm still gonna do it. Just might as well, it's the best Street Fighter, like, currently. It's better than the Tekken one, Street Fighter across Tekken. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> also, what's Metal Wolf Chaos? We finally found our comfy room. Hooray! Hooray! Might as well save. The ink ribbon you've been carrying around. Let's see, what's the time? Can I... Oh, I'll keep going. So I'm gonna so now we've accessed this area and others. Basically, we, we just explore. Yep. It's the best part of getting a very Find the game computer games. room! Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Getting new areas and then exploring the shit out of them, picking up everything, going back to the item box to deposit everything you don't need. I don't need the navy proof yet, do I? No, no, not not until much later. <laughs> May as well just dump it. Oh, a notebook. One root of shadow, the hedgehog. No. Nah, no. I've seen a let's play of that and it looks like the worst thing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't trust anyone anymore. Blah blah blah. Says he lives with his twin sister Alexia in a private house. Just 
So, yeah. Speaking of Dark Souls, I was I was trying thinking of games to stream, and I did think about maybe doing the Dark Souls thing, but for some reason I can't get the game to run on this computer with my my um, Wii controller. It just it just won't pick it up for some reason. Right, a door with gun slots. I don't know how you guys unlock your doors, but I use guns. Yes, I play. I play. No, no not not on the motion controls. I mean the pro, the controller pro, the the regular controller. But yes, here's a gun that I can't can't go through that door because it's got gun-shaped holes in it, and I need a gun-shaped object, or more specifically, two of them. There's nothing else in this room, right? Uh, probably not. Yeah, I, I, I do like how, <laughs> since, we're, since we're talking about Shadow the Hedgehog, I do like how now he's been basically reduced to a joke character now. Like, he hasn't appeared in anything remotely serious in ages, and every time he's in, like, Mario and Sonic Olympic thingamajigs, he's always compared to, like, Waluigi or something. <laughs> that kind of character you create for one of your games and then have him stick around and kind of regret it later. <laughs> so, oh, why do we make this guy? I don't know, Pete, that, like... Princess Daisy and Mario hasn't been in an actual Mario game, or even like Waluigi himself. He's never been yeah, in an yeah, actual Mario game. He was just designed She's for. Not there. Yeah, they're just bringing Rosalina instead. Yeah. And it's like, who cares? Who cares about Rosalina? I'm sure, lots of people care. Just, yeah. Could be a lighter. Not lighter. Whoa. Do I need a lighter or can I just ignore them? No, you want to equip it. You want to equip it, bro. My opinion on Wario is that he's a well, really swell guy. In, in a funny way. I don't know, he just seems like a funny guy. Why would I play Dark Souls as a racing wheel? Oh, I didn't think this through, did I? Wait, I got the ID card so I can... You don't actually need that yet, anyway. Right. As long as you remember to come back for it. You don't need to go in here just yet. I can't even remember what it is. It's a locked briefcase, so you can't open it yet anyway. And inside I... are is ten bowgun explosive powder. Alright. There's also a first aid spray. There's a hole in the bathroom, like in the ceiling. So that's how the bats got in, I think. If I remember. You need to pee it really bad. Yeah, the bats, you know, is desperate. Also, I should check this. You remember the ID? Quick, put it into the chat so I don't have to remember it myself. And I think every single person in here to write this into the chat right now. Hey! hey pork chop, no! <laughs> also, I think I've played one Wario Land game on the Game Boy. I can't remember which one it was, but it was pretty fun. Um, I, yes, Oops. I think, possibly. Didn't they make a Wario Land for the GameCube? I was kind of interested in that when, you know, the GameCube was a thing, but I don't know how good yeah, that was. Yeah, they did. It was like Wario World? Yeah. Maybe? I just remember, like, I remember seeing a Japanese, co like, claymation commercial for it, and it was the most hilarious thing. Also, I think it was, like, the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Also, I have not played Mighty Switch Force. What is that? I do not know what it is. It's that one platformer game, right? With the cop. I think. That's... I, I think I've seen it, but I don't know what it is, really. Yeah, I don't have a... I am currently pretty 
Well, actually, no, I have a regular Wii. I was about to say I don't Nintendo at all, but I do have a, a normal Wii. Son of a bitch! What features cute girls? Oh yeah, Sen Senran Kagura thing came out on 3DS, didn't it? Yeah, that was actually localized. 3DS fan, obviously. Yeah, oh, I got, I got, I imported the Vita one, and I just, I just can't play it because I don't, I just don't understand it at all. That's what you get for importing Japanese games. I, do, I should have looked into. Whoa, that was or close. Not. I should have seen that. He made a grab for me. I knew he was there, and I could have told you, but I, I didn't. <laughs> well, if I give you like advice for the second fight, it's going to be about five seconds too late. Yes, I have we a Vita. But I got mine because Kim got his, and he said it was cool, so I just bought one. No, actually, they're then, pretty then cool. I wouldn't call it like I must. <laughs> I'm yes, I'm a loser who bought a Vita over a 3DS. I mainly bought it because it was region free, and that for some reason was a huge selling point for me. Oh, are we watching this now? What? Oh, yeah, this. Shh, everyone quiet. <laughs> Stop kicking me. Ruining the movie. And for some reason that opens the cabinet. Yep. Well, whatever. Your, your cabinets aren't, like, connected to a button which plays a movie. No. How else do you access your replica weapons? By like climbing over a, a bunch of shit mainly. My house is a mess. A steering wheel. And some gold lugers. Oh well, right, why yeah. Don't we just pick him up. <laughs> well, um, if, if you don't know, when you pick these up, the room locks, and then this wibbly red effect happens, and then you get trapped in a superheated room, and then mm. you have to just put them back, and you can't do anything. So, yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah, no point going to the item box to put stuff away to come pick him up just to show that. <laughs> So I'm sure we're You're not missing that. much, it's just like... That. It's funny because when I attempted to like emulate this game with a PS2 emulator, the, the emulator just couldn't handle the wibbly effect. Like Everything else was fine, it's just the moment that happened, it just lagged like hell. Wasn't there a red herb there? You can't pick it up anyway, but... Um, I don't know, I should probably... Oh, I'll be... Whatever, I'll get it later. Well, I'll put it this way, there was a red herb there, but you can't pick it up right now. Uh, the Lugas, no, they don't have any ammo when you have them. You can find them in battle mode. Steve? That even is in this game. <laughs> well, we have a I think it's again. Who cares? It's just Steve. It's just Steve. Who it's cares? just Steve in peril. Steve. Who cares? Steve definitely seems like one of the more stranger characters of Resident Evil. Like, the thing is, though, they thought they were making a cool character. I guess. Like, they wanted like someone hip and young, I guess. Hip and with it. With. That, you know, attitude and the red hair. I'm just gonna just soak in this screen for a while. <sighs> oh yeah, Steve, suffering. But he doesn't. He really doesn't put two and two together. Like, I removed the no. guns. The thing locked. I should put the guns back. I just I loved it guns too much. And you figure out this puzzle then. It's our first major puzzle, I think. Other than the like the when the two pairs right, or something. Like a major puzzle. 
Quick stream, what should I do? Too late. <laughs> Basically, oh, I'll explain. I was too close, but I found something thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, Steve! Steve does seem like he has a mental age of 10. Yeah, you have to treat him like that, otherwise he might not understand. <laughs> yeah, basically the solution to that puzzle is there are pictures or, like, things on the wall. Oh, there's the things in the buttons, and there's two sets of, like, gun wall mounts. So, oh, it's the guns. You could also interpret the puzzle as there are two pictures of guns. Push them. You see, that's what I thought it was. I didn't even so know that these were relevant. Thought it would. Visual references are placed here. Yes, this is the movie room, after all. Right, and he, I guess he likes watching videos of him and his sister uh, instead of war movies. It's like, hey, let's go watch some war movies, and they turn the projector on, and then that comes on, and they're like, well, don't worry, it's just my evening's to... ruined. Wait, dude, it actually is a screensaver, isn't it? Oh god. <laughs> it's like it's like in that episode of The Simpsons where Smithers turns on his computer, and then there's that new Mr. <laughs> Burns. God, how horrifying! All right, so we got the guns out. That's that's our next major achievement. Which our trouble is now we have to get off the child who has taken them. I don't know if I should just use a herb or if I should just leave it there. Uh, you will come back here later, so you may as well. Yeah. Just leave it there. <laughs> yeah, it's that one. Not a very good shot. How no. dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you can lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? Yes, yeah, definitely a tight contest between Alfred and Steve in terms of annoying voices. Right, you saw Claire at the beginning cutscene, right? She like dropped a gun and then managed to catch the gun before it landed. She's like super fast cat like reflexes or something. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. How can you deny my base has been destroyed, and thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. <laughs> I would like to see a clear redesign. Who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> Who knows what Claire's thinking right now. Trapped in an island with Steve and that guy. It's just like a never-ending nightmare. Also, I'm probably going to end the stream in a bit, so I'm going to save now.
So yeah, we've established the current main prota uh, not protagonist. That's, that would be truly horrifying antagonist <laughs> of our game. The creepy guy who messes up his own voice acting lines when he calls himself Alf Alford Ashford. Instead of Alfred. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. He, it's the only time he does it. Right. Well, I don't know how many times he mentions his own name, but whatever. But I'm sure we can sort him out next time. Yep, maybe. next time. Uh, I don't know when I'll stream this again, probably like maybe a similar time next week or something. Does that sound like a good time for you losers? I misread that as gets father in code Veronica and it's like, is there something about my parentage I don't know about? <laughs> oh, I'll just reset. Because I can do that now. Oh, I don't really know what to say, really. Uh, I think I know what I'm going to say. What? I'm going to do some fucking dungeons to Final Fantasy and reclaim the tomes that I lost. I'm still mad. <laughs> Wait, you lost tomes? Well, no, the ingredients I bought with them. Does anyone in here play Final Fantasy XIV? Anyone know anything what I'm talking about? Your shit. <laughs> Basically, you do end game dungeons to get dungeon currency. And then you spend that currency on items to use in high level crafting. I spent like a thousand tomes, got the items, crafted the thing, and f fucked up the craft because the crafting simulator was inaccurate. And I got mad. Then I came here and did this. I I'm going to be honest, like, I don't know about high level crafting because the main reason I leveled up level. F like, the um, re main reason I leveled up Culinarian to level 50 was to get the chef outfit. Yeah. And now I have that, I've just kind of lost a bit of incentive to level up everything. I mean, okay, fish soup does con compromise like a majority of my um my income. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should stream a dungeon with your upload speed ruining. See, that's the, game. the thing. It's Lighty like, I don't, how am I coming across in uh, Mumble right now? It's a bit like jittery at some time, but you're pretty much always. Uh, understandable. Right, because um, yeah, that's the, that's the one thing about like streaming this, because obviously I'm going to be uploading a whole bunch, and as I'm a tank, I'm probably going to need like good latency most of the time. Yeah, well, that's just what we get for living down here in Britain. Yeah. Know? Well, I I guess I Not don't know. Not even fiber optics. Well, it's also my fault for picking was it EE as my internet provider. But yeah, that's uh, that, that's the that's the end of this stream, I suppose. I'll just leave you with the sleeping devil, Joe. You just set that as your bag. I don't know. I don't really know much about Twitch. Twitch. I I mean, last time I streamed was like years ago, on livestream.com, and that was all kinds of weird and strange. And to, like to stream things. Like one time I streamed, I think Monster Hunter Three on there. And I had to use something called like Flash Media Encoder. I think I streamed Punch Out to you guys, didn't I? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, it was just a really weird process. Yeah, they had to run like yeah. 30 different programs at once, and it was really complicated. And then I streamed. I think the stream with Boxface and Dead Rising 2 went okay, except oh, I yeah, disconnected yeah, partway through that. And yeah, but it seems like streaming has made leaps and bounds since then, because now I can like. I don't know, I can bring up this. Now it has to be good for all the eSports. Yes, eSports. Gotta stream Dota 2 and League of Legends and I don't know, what else are the kids playing these days on Twitch? 
Uh, according to this promoted games list, you've got two of them already. The other one is Diablo 3. Oh, great. Aren't they all like the same? I know. Uh, well, Diablo 3 is. No, it's no Diablo basically. 3 is like. Yeah, Path of Exile. Like, yeah. Exactly. Which is also up there in the list, isn't it? Well, yeah, Path of Exile has its own inbuilt Twitch streaming thing. Does it? You could just, you could, just, yeah. Did you not look at it? <laughs> no, I haven't. Mean, is it in the options or something? I don't think we can play. Even we, you know, you know us, can play Path of Exile. Interestingly enough, to warrant streaming it, especially mm. not at our level. I got to like Act Three in the second difficulty and got mad at magic. Right. Because you can't dodge it. So it hits you, you, you die. See, I couldn't do this before on livestream.com. I could add all these animated gifts I have saved on my computer. Oh, you should just get loads of clip art and put it up there. I should. I don't know. I haven't like got any clip art in. I don't know what, what funny man. I don't even know. Is shaking. I haven't played it either. <laughs> Do you have the um? I don't know what else I have here. It's, it's mainly just like terrible weeaboo things. Yeah. Just, just a flux screen with them. I think. I think what what. Bit. I wonder how many, like, because I've noticed my RAM increasing each time I do this, so I don't know if I could just destroy my computer by just adding more, or at least destroy the stream by do adding more animated so gifts. download more RAM. <laughs> yes, because that's the thing we can totally do. Right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do some dungeons, I think. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone. In whenever the fuck. Okay. Get out. Get out, everyone. The, the stream is over. So, shame, most shameful gifts. Hang on, let me find one. I think I found one earlier. Uh, sh shit, where is it? Oh, I guess this counts, right? Yeah, this will do. Okay, bye everyone. I don't even know what cartoon this is. It's... it's I just it's found Chunibio. Right, that one. The, yeah. the girl with the eye patch. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's nothing like about it. I haven't watched it's an anime best. in twelve years. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, too bad. I'm out.